All right, you guys have probably been wondering what's uh, up with the lighting. So I'm gonna show you today. There's obviously glare. I've got the sliding glass door shades open since I'm right here next to the door, breaking all the rules. Usually I leave them closed so I don't get natural sunlight on the screen. But this won't take long. You've seen from the brightness of the lamps and the shimmer, you probably know what I've got. So there are my ballasts for the metal halides. We've got both of them here. They are plugged into the reef keeper. One comes on 10 minutes before the other one. And uh, they operate like anything else. I had them plugged into a GFI circuit and it kept popping it off so the whole system was going down. I had to uh, replace that outlet and I put a standard outlet in and I haven't had a problem since. But uh, I do have metal halide lighting on this. There's two 400 watt radium lamps. So I've got one here and I've got one here. So I'll back up and you can kind of see them both. And uh, all I used when I built the supports, that's just half inch conduit. I bought plastic caps at Lowe's on the ends there. And then I bought shackles basically. Um, they're for boat anchors for the most part, all stainless steel hung the lights from those. You can see them, I'll show more from the top here. Maybe I should go around and get away from the glare of the window. How about that? Try and make a little sense. And uh, ran the cords down the backs of the conduit into the back of the stand. And then of course the cords go to the ballast. And just uh, a, week, a week and a half ago, I put the moon lights on for the reef keeper system, and I will show that at some point. Had a question about that as well. So what I did is I hot glued those to the black metal side of the lamp fixture. The aluminum portion gets too hot, obviously, so uh, the hot glue doesn't fall off of the black portion of the fixture. You can actually put your hand on it for your fingers on it for you know 10-15 seconds before it gets too hot. The aluminum portion is really hot, especially with that 400 watt lamps. But I've got one there, and I've got one on this fixture. I've got one on this side of this fixture, and I've got one on this. So the Reef Keeper came with two, and I bought two additional ones. And uh, I have them set here. We're in our full moon. Well, it's just slightly off full moon. I'm in Southern California. And uh, I set them at maximum moonlight of 39 to 40. I think I set it to 40. And it gets fairly bright. You'd kind of be surprised. But uh, the lunar module for the Reef Keeper turns them on and off. You have to set it to lunar. I know I had to do uh, some experiments to getting it work. So getting it to work. So at some point I'll show how I did that. Uh, I'll have to set the camera on a tripod and we'll just do a computer computer class for exactly what I've got set up for this aquarium. But uh, so if you were interested in seeing the lighting, there it is. Not much to it. Back off again to the tank and you can see the entire system with the lights out. And take care.